Digital anchor Christine Barconi joining us now from the NBC4 I Streaming Center as she takes a look at the stories making headlines online this afternoon. Hi, Christine. Hey, good afternoon, Brad and Jennifer. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office Mounted Unit is mourning the loss of one of their horses. Chip, an 18-year-old retired racehorse who later became a prized member of the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, died this week. Chip joined the Mounted Unit in 2020 after retiring from a successful racing career. His massive head and donkey-like ears made him easily distinguishable from his fellow mounted horses, the sheriff's office said. He also loved a good nap while on duty, they added. The sheriff's office is asking people to keep Chip's owners, Deputy Eads, and his rider, Deputy Baez, in their thoughts as they mourn Chip's death. In today's National Voter Registration Day, if you've logged on to social media today, you've probably seen prompts to get registered to vote. Locally, Ohio's Secretary of State is out and about promoting the day, encouraging Ohioans to get registered at a variety of events. I spoke to him this morning when he was actually on the road to his former high school in Northeast Ohio to encourage those teens to engage in their civic duty and register before the October 11th deadline here in Ohio. He says we're less than 5,000 registered voters away from having 8 million people people registered in the state. You can get registered to vote right on your phone or update your address. It's super, super easy. Can you walk us through that process and talk about exactly what you need and again, just how easy it is? Christine, you're 100% right. And this is something I'm personally proud of because this was my bill in the state legislature many years ago that created online voter registration. So right there on your smartphone at voteohio.gov, voteohio.gov, you want to have your state ID or driver's license with you. It, it probably only takes a minute or two to walk through that process. I'm going to check with the Secretary of State's office on that 5,000 number. I bet we've surpassed it today. But if you're having trouble getting registered to vote online, there is a hotline you can call. And you, we've got that listed on NBC4i.com. You can also get registered to vote at any public library or BMV location. All that information, as well as my full interview with Secretary LaRose, like I said, up on NBC4i.com. Finally, NyQuil is trending on social media right now because the FDA issued a warning about a perceived trend on TikTok of people cooking chicken in the cold and flu medicine. While this is very dangerous, looking into TikTok, the original sleepy chicken video seems to have originated in January of this year as a parody, and it's now trending again on the app as people are reacting to the absurdity of it. The FDA urges parents to keep over-the-counter and prescription drugs away from children and lock them up to prevent accidental overdose. Brad and Jen. I have to be careful when I... Open yeah, my mouth and I'm just things like this. I can't say Come on. anything Come about on. this. So it's a perceived trend. I don't think there are actual children that are cooking NyQuil in the chicken, but it is Let's trending go. on the app, so it's a good reminder, but I don't think that it's an actual thing that don't is happening it. with children. Don't Let us hope yeah. not. All right.